button is used to power the computer on and off. USB ports are used for plug and play devices such as webcams, MP3 players, flash drives, and more. You can locate them on the back or the front of the tower. The DVD or CD drive, also known as an optical drive, allows us to play or burn a CD and install software. The monitor cable port is where you plug your monitor in. The serial port and the PS2 port are used to plug in devices such as a mouse or a keyboard. On newer computers, the serial port and PS2 ports have been replaced by USB connections. This printer port is used to connect your printer to your computer. The Ethernet port allows your computer to communicate over a network. It allows you to set up a home network with a few computers and connect them by Ethernet cord or wirelessly. These input devices plug into your sound card. The sound card enables you to speak into a computer's microphone and listen to audio from the speakers or a headset. This card's job is to process sound data. These empty slots are where expansion cards are added to computers. For example, if our computer didn't come with a video card, we could purchase one and insert it here. So what are all of the buttons, slots, and sockets used for? They are all useful for things like connecting your printer or your scanner, but the port that you will probably find yourself using the most is a USB port. You can plug in devices like webcams, video cameras, jump drives, and MP3 players, just to name a few.